Hey guys, doing another video. Here we got a live commentary from the map High Pass. If you're wondering why I haven't uploaded in a while, it's really because I haven't quite got around to it. OBS has also been a real pain to work with. I keep losing footage and a lot of time videos will just be still frames, and that happens sometimes in this video as well. All this footage was taken from the same game, and I use a lot of the roots and tricks I picked up on this overplayed map. Honestly, 16 out of 20 Valve Koth maps are high pass, and honestly, it's not that great. But it's new and different, so people like it, so I hope you enjoy the video. Don't really have a good transition in mind, so let's just get to it. Here's another life. Right now, this is live commentary, which is why it's so bad. Um, hmm. oh, that is not good. Did not see me. He did. Nope. Not gonna be that easy. That was an escape maneuver, it wasn't an offensive one. Wasn't trying to just run around and get behind him. I'm not sure quite what that sniper was doing. I'm even less sure what this pyro was doing. Um. Hmm. So that was interesting. <laughs> I'm gonna cut the footage. Alright, so we know that this isn't working. I need to alter my set. So I kinda like this, don't wanna change it too much. Oh uh, yeah, let's change this one. I like I like the ambassador and I like it mainly because if I don't use it all the time I'll forget how to headshot. Do all that good stuff. Because my ambassador aim's not the best, it's the work in progress. So I do need to get the work in progress. I like this set, especially on cough maps. It allows me to get one kill and then go back out, pull out, and get another kill. Use the sentry gun to strafe a little. Try and get out of the sentry gun. The engineer should be turning around towards the sentry. Okay, he did a full 180. Still getting shot at. 32 HP. HP doesn't matter too much with the kunai set, but you don't want to be like all the time in one hit range. All the people are over there, but I can't really go over there. I'm gonna try. Yeah, this room's like the kill room. For spies. I got one kill, the other one's turned around. Finally got the engineer meaning. No many centuries for a bit. The thing is, a lot of people think that um, spies are direct counters to engineers, and that's not true. Spies are good counters towards the um, traditional way of playing engineer. However, I get the health pack just so I'm able to pop a reliable thing. I'm dodging most of the scout's bullets, which is just frustrating him. I didn't really think I'd be able to get into a position to where I'd trick stab him, so I wasn't trying too hard to. Just maybe distracting him enough for my teammate to be able to do some work. Disguising a spy a lot, I need to change. Pyro disguise, not a bad disguise, it's just really like not viable. Stab him in the side. Now I prefer side stabs over back stabs. Because if you approach someone from the side and they turn around, you can just strafe up and then still be able to get a back stab on him to where if you were behind him you'd have to I'm not gonna get this guy. This way. Ooh, this is not good. When things are random, it's best to just like back. Ooh, that's not good. That spy is gonna be in real big trouble. Um, hmm. It's pretty low. Ah, oh, that soldier is still chasing me. Alright, so. I forgot how we died because I was just kind of making sure it recorded. 
That's the thing with OBS, I'm never sure if it saves like a life or if it will just be like, nope, you're not recording. Sorry. Um, hopefully this will be the last time I have to record like that. I'm going to look to see if there's anything I can install to it that'll tell me when it's recording, but my friend said um he had this dual monitor so he can see whether or not it's recording, but I don't have that set up and I don't really see too much of a purpose to get a setup like that, so I'm just gonna work with what I got. Pyro standing still. There's nothing wrong with getting an easy kill with the Kunai because now I have 200 HP and able to do more risky things like these big target ticket trick steps. Okay, he didn't want to round the corner. I'm getting shot at by a soldier, so I'm gonna do the same escape maneuver I did that one time. I really like that escape maneuver and I really like that it allows you to do it because most people don't look for it like that. Oh, this is risky business. Got him. What am I wearing? I think I'm wearing the Hong Kong cone and then something else. Ooh, the soldier has people on both sides of him. And he's dead. Uh oh. Ooh, that pirate did a good strafe. See, what I was doing, I was just trying to stay out of his flames by doing that circular strafe. What he did to counter that, he stood still, took a second to think about it, and then he backed up. And if I didn't have my dead ringer procced, and I didn't have the amount of health I did, I would have definitely been dead. And I got my health back from that pyro. Like I said, nothing wrong with getting an easy kill. Oh, this soldier's me. I want him to. Oh, that was a great stab. Didn't see that one coming. I was already through the door, so it's the, he was thinking the chance of me stair stabbing him was very low, but that's what you gotta do in order to get these. Oh. Oh. oh god. It's best to just fail sometimes. Especially when facing a back burner pyro. Oh boy. <laughs> Did not see that coming. So we won last round. Here comes another round. I don't think the team's got out of balance and it doesn't look like it is. Hey, Gray Fox. I'll get references. Getting healed by a medic. Not a bad thing. It just, um, he's not using one of the overheal ones to give me a bunch of overheal. Be an opportunist. So I was at like 88 HP, which that's not going to be a big difference from um, 70. Which, by the way, 70 HP. Not a big difference, but the reason they did it was because of the jag. And they didn't want the jag to be able to one hit a spy with the kunai. So they gave it a little nod. I do like how it gets you over 200 HP. <laughs> the hardest part with the ambassador is lining up the second shot, because the first one's always completely accurate, but the second one's gonna be like. Ooh, hoo hoo. Gotta get this engineer now. Yeah, the Huntsman's dangerous. That was just really bad. Ooh. Ooh. Bad to worse. Ooh. Burnt again, and I could not jump up that rock. <laughs> Be an opportunist. I like to think of the Kunai as you're playing as a predator, and you need to just kill as many things to feed as possible. Is that a scout on our team? I can't imagine a spy getting to work. Dodging demo man charges is one of the most important thing a spy needs to know nowadays. Because demo man charges are the most overpowered thing compared to what a spy has in this kit. It's basically a free one hit if you're not youth if you're even slightly low HP. See? And they're incredibly hard to dodge. Because Especially if they're using the tie turner. Oh. Oh. Make sure I'm recording real quick. All in all, the Demonite's a very overpowered class, and it is very hard for a spy player that has a playstyle similar to mine to be able to take out a Demonite, simply because that they deal more damage than you. They're incredibly hard to trick stab with their increased movement speed, and their charge will basically kill you immediately. Combine that with the tide turn it, that's a free crit, crit whenever. But, you know, I'm sure it'll be nerfed soon, so. 
You do need to learn how to deal with it in the now, though. Since they are such an aggressive player, it can be extremely hard to get behind them. Even though he's in the air, I felt found no trouble matadoring him. I he's a pyro. wonder if he's going to chase me. He is. And that was a pretty improvised stab. I went for a jump stab, saw that it wasn't lining up right. He saw which way I was strafing, so I strafed the opposite way just in time, and I got behind him. And you can tell by that set, I mean, he has some experience with pyros, and he has to have some experience with trick stabs. So, yeah, got an easy kill on Engineer, got to be an opportunist. I'm only on a four kill streak, sadly, though. I think that power of this guy is a bit too much. Not gonna work that time. Need to know when to bail. The dead. I like the um buff they made to the dead ringer. It's reasonable now. I'm going to have to admit 90% was a bit extreme. And I feel like starting off with 70%. Jeez. The important thing is zapping that sentry so our scout can get in and do some work. I lost. All the bonus XP I got. I got hit from something. Oh no. Yeah, Demonites. Hey, thanks for watching. That's it for this video. Planning on doing more videos like this, but I also want to get into guides. I'm thinking my next video will be a loadout guide for the spy. I hope you like this video and would appreciate you subscribing so I can get more subscribers in depth.